Now, let's go with the part 2, white reference procedure, the crosstalk correction and the white balance for color image rendering. Color Shades Lab allows the user to view a reconstructed color image of the scene. To do so, click on the display button in the upper bar and choose color image, or, alternatively, click on the RGB icon, in the icon bar. Please note, that this color image reconstruction is consistent in terms of colors, only for the CMSC camera model. Indeed, the CMSC model samples the visible spectrum of the light. For CMSV and CMSS models, the color image reconstruction doesn't match to the actual colors, as these cameras sample the light in the near-infrared region, not in the visible one. The spectrum, on different locations of the scene, can be displayed with the spectrum window. To do so, click on the display button in the upper bar and choose spectrum. Or, alternatively, click on the spectrum icon, in the icon bar. The spectrum window opens on the right column of the screen. Click on any point of the raw image, or of the color image, to display the corresponding spectrum, see the orange line. Additionally, the value of the panchromatic pixel, is displayed, see the gray dot. You can also click and drag, to get a rectangle selection. The displayed spectrum, is then the mean spectrum of this area. Selecting the stacking option, you can compare different spectra in TE same area, or in different part of the scene. The spectra are so cumulate onto the same graph. To get consistent multispectral data from the CMS camera, a calibration step has to be progressed. It is called, white reference. The white reference procedure consists in selecting an area in the scene whose spectrum is flat. Ideally a white or gray area. Coefficients are then calculated and applied to the spectral channels, to make the spectrum flat. This step is a way to retrieve the illuminant spectrum from the measurement. Consider a source, a white or gray object, and, the camera with its computer. The spectrum of the source is noted here, illuminant spectrum. The spectrum reflected to the camera is the product of the illuminant spectrum by the flat spectrum of the object. It gives so a measurement of the illuminant of the source. A set of normalization coefficients associated to the spectral bands are then computed. This set of coefficient is applied to any further measurement. It corrects the illuminant spectrum bias and allows to measure the actual spectrum of the scene. Additionally, to optimize the color image rendering, a white balance treatment can be applied to the color image. The principle is the same and consists in selecting a white or gray area in the scene. Please note, that the white reference procedure corrects the multispectral data, whereas the white for color image procedure doesn't. The white for color image procedure only affects the color rendering of the color image. To apply the white reference procedure, click on the pre-processing button in the upper bar, and choose pre-processing. The pre-processing window opens on the left column of the screen. Click on the reset button, then on the white reference button. Then, select a white, or a gray zone, on the scene, either in the raw image window or in the color image window. The normalization coefficients are then automatically applied. Alternatively, you can use the white reference icon noted WR to apply the white reference procedure. Click on the icon, then select a white or a gray zone. To apply the white for color image procedure to the color image, click on the reset button, then on the white for color image button, and select a white or a gray zone. We recommend to apply the white reference procedure, prior to the white for color image procedure. Ideally, use the same white or gray zone for both. 
Now, few words about the crosstalk effect. In the CMS camera, like in every imaging system, crosstalk effect occurs. The crosstalk effect consists in the pollution of a given pixel by the neighbor pixels. In the case of multispectral cameras, such a pollution can affect the quality of the spectral data. To drastically reduce the crosstalk effect, Cilios developed a mathematical method called crosstalk correction. The principle of this method can be downloaded on the Cilios website. The crosstalk correction method can be applied on Color Shades Lab. To do so, select the crosstalk correction option in the pre processing window. Doing this, a set of crosstalk coefficients is applied to the data. The crosstalk coefficient set is calculated and associated to each CMS camera before its delivery. The effect of the crosstalk correction onto the spectrum can be seen with the spectrum display tool. Use the stacking option of the spectrum window and check the spectrum of a zone of the image with and without the crosstalk correction. The spectrum of the same zone is much more contrasted when applying the crosstalk correction than without. 